This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you. Certain that your direction gives me peace. Certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word, to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and he will hear answer me because speaks for God my Father and his holy Son. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge for I would follow you. Certain that your direction gives me peace, certain that your direction gives me peace. Well, I'm forgiveness teacher from the Ozarks, Miracle Willie, and it's uh, December the 30th of 2023, Saturday, Lesson 364 in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. We're reading from the original edition this year on our workbook and our text and our manual for teachers we we did read the clarification of terms out of foundation for inner peace and psychotherapy purpose process and practice and song of prayer out of foundation for inner pieces publications next year we'll be going through the foundation for inner peace bring your friends and let's join together and and um, study the book let's let's look at this as our our path you know, that not only are we digging in deep into these under ideas until they become just the habit of our, our using them as um, prob in our problem-solving repertoire. And, and let's go deep into the understanding of forgiveness and peace and joy and the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> okay, well, this holy instant would I give to you be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and he will hear and answer me because he speaks for God my Father and his Holy Son. And our associated reading, our final lessons, and, and, you know, we're going to read the epilogue tomorrow. And and that will conclude this year. The ones of you have made it through with me, congratulations. The ones we've picked up along the way, thank you for joining us. Let's all join to, on the first uh, day after tomorrow and, uh, and start afresh and anew. Our final lessons. Our final lessons will be left as free of words as possible. We use them but at the beginning of our practicing and only to remind us that we seek to go beyond them. Let us turn to him who leads the way and makes our footsteps sure. To him we leave these lessons as to him we give our lives henceforth. For we would not return again to the belief in sin which made the world seem ugly and unsafe, attacking and destroying, dangerous in all its ways and treacherous beyond the hope of trust and the escape from pain. His is the only way to find the peace that God has given us. It is His way that everyone must travel in the end, because it is this ending God Himself appointed. In the dream of time it seems to be far off, and yet in truth it is already here, already serving as gracious guidance in the way to go. Let us together follow in this way that truth points out to us, and let us be the leaders of our many brothers 
who are seeking for the way, but find it not. Wow, let's, let's let that be the reason we keep studying this. Because we have a good message to share with our brothers who are seeking happiness and don't know how to find it. Our many brothers who are seeking for the way, but find it not. And to this purpose, let us dedicate our minds, directing all our thoughts to serve the function of salvation. Unto us the aim is given to forgive the world. It is the goal that God has given us. It is his ending to the dream we seek, and not our own. For all that we forgive, we will not fail to recognize as part of God himself. And thus his memory is given back, completely and complete. It is our function to remember him on earth as it is given us to be his own completion in reality, or in heaven, <laughs> reality. So let us not forget our goal is shared, for it is that remembrance which contains the memory of God and points the way to him and to the heaven of his peace. And shall we not forgive our brother who can offer this to us? He is the way, the truth, and life that show the way to us. In him resides salvation, offered us through our forgiveness, given unto him. We will not end this year without the gift our Father promised to his Holy Son. We are forgiven now, and we are saved from all the wrath we thought belonged to God and found it was a dream. We are restored to sanity in which we understand that anger is an insane, attack is mad, and vengeance merely foolish fantasy. We have been saved from wrath because we learned we were mistaken, nothing more than that. And is a father angry at his son because he failed to understand the truth? We come in honesty to him and say we did not understand and ask him to help us to learn his lessons through the voice of his own teacher. Would he hurt his son, or would he rush to answer him and say, This is my son, and all I have is his? Be certain he will answer thus, for these are his own words to you, and more than that can no one ever have. For in these words is all there is, and all that there will be throughout all time, and in eternity. This is my son, and all I have is his. All that God has, which is everything, is his son's. This holy instant would I give to you, be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request. And he will hear and answer me because he speaks for God my Father and his Holy Son. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to read the, the, the last section uh, in, in Manual for Teachers of the Clarification of Terms. The Holy Spirit. And this is out of the Foundation for Inner Peace's publication. And before we read that, what's going on around the world today? Well, it's Bacon Day. <laughs> uh, Falling Needles Family Fest Day. Falling Needles Family Fest Day. Festival of Enormous Changes at the Last Minute. <laughs> End of the year. National Bicarbonate of Soda Day. Baking soda. And um, it's the 10th day of Christmas. Merry Christmas. 10th day of Christmas. And the 5th day of Kwanzaa. Merry Kwanzaa. Or happy Kwanzaa. Uh, and then I want to tell you about one of, you know, we learned yesterday, or we've been learning that we're supposed to use a male uh, hardy kiwi, an actinidia, act, what is it? An actinidia... Uh, Arguta and uh, this one here will he they've got three of them in uh, edible landscaping 7432 is the hardy male kiwi selection from Chico California 1974 blooms a few days earlier than 7446 
pollinates all of our hardy female varieties, zones five through eight, space 15 foot on six foot trellis. So that's the one you would definitely want to have. They also have that 7446, the hardy male kiwi, originally selected from a kiwi project at the USDA Chico, California, along with 7432, which blooms a few days earlier. Both males do an excellent job pollinating our hardy kiwi, Aconidia, or Actinidia arguta females. So either one of those will work. Space 15 foot apart on six foot high wire trellis, zones five through eight. But since that, since the uh, 7432 blooms a little earlier, it, it probably does a little better job, at least in the beginning. Uh, at the end of the season, maybe the other one picks up. But he says that they, they that does a good job for pollinating. And if you want to send a link to your friends, I'm going to put a description in, in the description below. Uh, January 1st of 2024, coming up in two days. Uh, th and, and I put what the title will be so they can pu punch in this title and find the lesson. And I, it may change, but at this point, my title is going to be through, T-H-R-U, through A Course in Miracles, W forward slash with Willie, Will hyphen E, one forward slash 365, one of 365, and and then one 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 dash one dash 24. And we'll be going through the more common version, uh, the Foundation for Inner Peace version, which is many, many more people have that version. So I thought, well, let's go through that one. You know, it's had a little bit more edited out, but uh, let's just see the comparisons, okay? It'll be fun. And it, it has the, it teaches forgiveness, both of them. One's just more edited than the other. Okay, was there anything else? Okay, let's go take a look at the Holy Spirit and take along with us all day today, your longer meditation, morning and evening, and then your hourly little mini meditation for your little holy instance of just a, just a minute or even less where you pause and remember God and give God thanks and say your lesson and then have a moment of open-mindedness to receive what he has for you in that hour. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace. Of course, we'll take that one with us. The Holy Spirit. G and <clears throat> clarification of terms. Jesus is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, whom he called down upon the earth after he ascended into heaven or became completely identified with the Christ, the Son of God as he created him. The Holy Spirit being a creation of the one creator, creating with him and in his likeness or spirit, is eternal and has never changed. He was called down upon the earth in the sense that it was now possible to accept him and to hear his voice. His is the voice for God and has therefore taken form. This form is not his reality, which God alone knows along with Christ, the real Son, who is part of him. Paragraph 2. The Holy Spirit is described throughout the course as giving us the answer to the separation and bringing the plan of the atonement to us, establishing our particular part in it and showing us exactly what it is. He has established Jesus as the leader in carrying out his plan since he was the first to complete his own part perfectly. All power in heaven and earth is therefore given him, and he will share it with you when you have completed yours. The atonement principle was given to the Holy Spirit long before Jesus set it in motion. Number three. The Holy Spirit is described as the remaining communication link between God and his separated sons. The communication link between God and his separated sons. In order to fulfill this special function, the Holy Spirit has assumed a dual function. He knows because he is part of God. He knows because he is part of God. 
He's a, he's a Gnostic. He's a knowing one. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit res resides in us. So we're also Gnostic ones. He knows because he is part of God. He perceives because he was sent to save humanity. He was sent to save us from the hell we made. <laughs> he is the great correction principle, the bringer of true perception, the inerrant power of the vision of Christ. He is the light in which the forgiven world is perceived, in which the face of Christ alone is seen. He never forgets the Creator or His creation. He never forgets the Son of God. He never forgets you, and He brings the love of your Father to you in an eternal shining that will never be obliterated because God has put it there. Paragraph 4. The Holy Spirit abides in the part of your mind that is part of the Christ mind. He represents yourself and your Creator, who are one. He speaks for God and also for you, being joined with both. And therefore it is He who proves them one. He seems to be a voice, for in that form He speaks God's Word to you. He seems to be a guide through a far country, for you need that form to help, of help. He seems to be whatever meets the needs you think you have. Yep, my page turned here. But he has not deceived, but he is not deceived when you perceive yourself entrapped in needs you do not have. It is from these he would deliver you. It is from these he would make you safe. And the last paragraph, five. You are his manifestation in this world. Your brother calls to you to be his voice along with him. Alone he cannot be the helper of God's Son, for he alone is functionless. But joined with you, he is the shining Savior of the world, whose part in its redemption you have made complete. He offers thanks to you as well as him for you arose with him when he began to save the world. Let's read that sentence again. He offers thanks. The Holy Spirit offers thanks to you as well as him for you arose with him when he began to save the world. And you will be with him when time is over and no trace remains of dreams of spite in which you dance to death's thin melody. For in this place the hymn to God is heard a little while. For in this place the hymn of God is heard a little while. And then the voice is gone, no longer to take form, but to return to the eternal formlessness of God. Wow. Okay, and you know, there is something else that I wanted to share with you. That's before we read our lesson once again. I, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about these Kiwis. I meant to tell you when we were a while ago, but I, I, I had it on the back page. I didn't have room. There was this man named uh, a, a China, a Chinese man named Liang Bu. And uh, I'll have his name in the description below. And there's a link on edible landscaping. And I've just put the high points of the of what was written there. Uh, what what can't kiwi fruit do is the name of this. And Liang Bu says about the Actinidia arguta, flowers rich nectar flowers are a rich nectar source and a perfume source. So probably good for bees, uh, but a good for perfume. The leaves they're nutrient rich with high starch and protein and vitamin C and other nutrients. They're excellent for, for fattening up pigs, uh, in, for livestock. He, he mentioned pigs. Uh, the fruit, it's good for medicine. It will reduce fevers, improves urination, good for blood health, helps in lactation for you lactating mothers and for animals that are lactating, relieves inflammation. Uh, the root, good for lactation and helps in boils and on sprains. The roots also can be processed to make a good insecticide. The stalks are rich in glue. 
Simply by soaking in water, the, socks, the stalks can be used to make wax paper and art paper. Uh, the, the, the plant's good to eat. It resists insects. It's long-lived, and it's a good landscape plant. Uh, it's a hardy plant either in the sun or the shade. can reach 40 feet in height or length. Uh, tolerates many soils and climates once it's established. Even said that it'll handle chicken scratching once it's been a, once it's you know uh, healthy. Once it's got big enough that it can withstand that. Um, let's see. And the fruit, uh, it it's it's high high sugar content. Its bricks level is between 13 and just under 18. Uh, bricks rating, which raisins, which you need to have a high bricks rating, are 18. So, so pretty sweet. So that'd be your natural sugars. If I was going to eat something sweet, I'd like to have something natural like that. Okay, this holy instant would I give to you, be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and he will hear and answer me because he speaks for God my Father and his Holy Son. And, and you know, we're, we're coming to the close of this year. And I'm hoping the next year I have a little bit more time to, to share a few things with you. And um, I, I try to let Jesus do most of the talking, as you see. And, just, and I usually just say a few things for clarity. And I'll continue doing that and let him do most of the talking. Because I'm learning from him just like you are. But there's a lot of things that I'm starting to see that I think that would be beneficial for me to share with you. I, I'm seeing a, um, I'm seeing a world filled with people who understand the principles of Course in Miracles, and I've seen a, a, a large body that's learned from a Course in Miracles how to uh, how to live these principles in community, and I'd love to talk about that. I mentioned that we were going to build a greenhouse cabin, and we still are. I've just been tied up doing so many other things I haven't been able to get to it so that's something coming up we're going to be we're going to learn a, a, the things that we need to do to become a real community of of people you know the foods we eat the the um, the, the homes we live in the way that we deal with each other with these principles how they would actually precipitate into the world um, that's what I hope we talk a lot about this coming year so, so join me in what I call the easy way to learn A Course in Miracles. Just sit down and listen on your, on your device and have your book if you, and follow along. I would encourage you that. And, and read it more than just me hearing it. But even if you just listen to me, at least you're going to get the whole book is the beautiful part about it. And you'll get it every day. I try to get it uploaded every day. So, so until tomorrow, let's tell ourselves, and, and you might even memorize this one, this holy instant would I give, and I probably have it memorized, but I don't take the chance because I want to make sure I give it to you correctly. This holy instant would I give to you, be you in charge, for I would follow you certain that your direction gives me peace. And if I need a word to help me, he will give it to me. If I need a thought, that will he also give. And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind, these are the gifts I will receive of him. He is in charge by my request, and he will hear and answer me, because he speaks for God my Father and his Holy Son. And thank you all so much for joining me this year in studying this sacred book. Be sure to pass it on. Pass the ideas on, if not the actual book. Buy a book for someone and give it to them as a gift. This holy instant would I give to you. Be you in charge for I would follow.
follow you Certain that your direction gives me peace Certain that your direction gives me peace And if I need a word to help me He will give it to me If I need a thought that will he also give And if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind These are the gifts I will receive of him He is in charge by my request and he will hear And answer me because he speaks for God my Father And his Holy Son And his Holy and his Holy Son That's you and me And his Holy Son This holy instant would I give to you Be you in charge for Certain that your direction gives me peace Certain that your direction gives me peace And if I need a word that will help me And if I need a word to help me He will give it to me If I need a thought that will he also give and if I need but stillness and a tranquil open mind these are the gifts I will receive of him he is in charge by my request and he will hear and answer me because he speaks God my Father and His Holy, Holy Son and His Holy Son. He is in charge by my request and He will hear and answer me because He speaks for God my Father. And his holy son, and his holy son, this holy instant would I give to you, be you in charge for I would follow you, certain that gives me peace certain that your direction gives me peace as they say in uh, Swahili Amani and in Hebrew Shalom and in Arabic Salam and in English Peace this holy instant would I give to you, be you in charge, for I would follow you, certain that your direction gives me peace.